The next piece I'll discuss is Sam Hill, which was recorded on the Tiny Bell Trio's 1998 album, Songs for Wandering Souls. The composition is based on a rhythmic ostinato of alternating measures of 7-8 and 9-8, which creates a composite time signature of 16-8. Each measure is composed of rhythmic accents based on groups of two and three eighth notes. The pattern for this piece is 3-2-2, 3 2, two, three, two, two, two which is maintained consistently throughout the performance. Now I will demonstrate the first four measures of the melody with Brian providing the subdivision and the accentuation of the eighth note subgroupings. This rhythmic ostinato is inspired by Bulgarian folk dances. However, Dave Douglas did not borrow it directly from any particular piece. In my research, I discovered that this alternating time signatures of 7-8 and 9-8 bears a close resemblance to a popular Bulgarian folk song entitled Sabrale Sase Sabrale. As you can see, Sabrale also has a time signature of 16-8 and the subgrouping of each measure is 9-8 plus 7-8. This is nearly identical to Sam Hill, the only difference being the placement of the second grouping of three eighth notes. I will now play an excerpt of a recording of Sabrale Sase Sabrale to demonstrate the similarity of the two rhythmic ostinatos. <laughs> Now much of Bulgarian folk music is monophonic, with all voices and instruments playing the melody in unison. <coughs> Typically, singers and instrumentalists will perform in heterophony, which is the simultaneous and independent ornamentation of a melody. Letter A in Sam Hill is performed in this manner. It is also common in Bulgarian folk singing for one voice to sing the melody while a second voice articulates the pitch and rhythm on a static, on a drone note, or a static uh, uh, pitch, usually the tonic. This diaphonic texture frequently results in dissonances as the melody hovers around the drone pitch. Sabrale se, sase sabrale is constructed in this manner. Now Dave Douglas adapts this technique in the introduction to Sam Hill, using the open D string on the guitar to create a pedal point, over which the rising and falling chromatic line creates alternately dissonant and consonant harmonies. Adam will now play the introduction for us. At letter D, Douglas utilizes a descending chromatic bass motion, often called the lament bass, which is common in classical literature, uh, particularly in Venetian opera. One of the best no known uses of this progression is in Dido's Lament, from Purcell's Dido and Aeneas. As you can see in my harmonic analysis, Douglas harmonizes the descending motion in a manner consistent with European voice leading, which contrasts with, but also complements, the full harmonization of the rest of the composition. Interestingly, in the introduction, Douglas uses an inversion of this lament bass against the tonic pedal to create the diaphony in, uh, that we heard just a moment ago. And in his tonal harmonization of the lament bass at letter D, there is a sustained D pitch throughout, which creates a mirror of the diaphonic harmonization from the introduction. Instrumental folk music in Bulgaria developed through an imitation of vocal styles. And in keeping with this tradition, Douglas uses unconventional trumpet techniques, 
such as pitch bending, growling, and a half valve portamento, in addition to the heterophonic or ornamentation discussed earlier, to vocalize the melody. The techniques that Douglas utilizes are commonly used by jazz performers. However, in the context of this performance, they emphasize the Balkan folk aesthetic more so than any specific jazz style. 